Howdy folks and welcome back once more to Let's Play Might and Magic 2. Today, tentatively, we are going to win the Red Triple Crown. We have done all the fights, we have the Red Key, now we just need to go and free the Red Bishop who is in Castle Hillstone. So let's get on this. I think we are well rested. Yes, we are. How are we actually looking on gems? Eh, about as good as I'd say we're probably gonna get. All right, let's get out of here. Wait a minute, did that just did that just automatically do the map for me? Cause I didn't click on that. Hmm, weird. I didn't tell it to to cycle out of the map there, but it did. Hmm. Time to do science. What if I do this and go back in? No. But if I do this... Ah. Alright, whatever. Alright, so... We want to get to D4, which is basically the southeast corner of the world, so... This should be an adventure. Yeah, we'll pay your gold for your ticket. Alright, Hillstone is this way. I'm just gonna follow the signs. And kind of cycle maps for us here as we go. Okay. Oh, shit. Just got ambushed by squires. Um... This is a fight we should be able to take. These things have 40 hit points. AC is only 10. Two attacks for 1d15, but they're very fast. So... Alright, and I think I think they have a chance to drop an item. It says I1, G1, so maybe one item, one gem per or something. I don't know how it works. They're worth 900 XP, though, which makes this worth fighting. And with lightning bolts, this is gonna probably, yeah... Our melees are swinging three times around now. Chunk and Devon are both at two swings. Actually, Gold Leaf is at two swings as well. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, Gold Leaf, I guess you can just kinda auto fight through this. I think our melees are gonna be more than capable of just butchering these things. Yeah, that was a very reasonable fight. All right, chunk. God damn it! Fucking chunk. A longbow plus three, forty-one gold. Oh, maybe that's what the G means. Maybe it means gold instead of gems. I don't know. Uh, longbow plus three is really nice. Rove. All right, just unconscious. We're going to back our asses up, and we're gonna have a nap. I'm really quickly gonna grab my notes. All right, and just set those out. So a plus three longbow, what is... He is using a great bow. Ah, uh, the longbow is going to be better. Trade item with... He is five, and a longbow. Yeah, the, the great bow might do more damage. The great bow does a d12. And a longbow does a d10. But it's a d10 plus three, so the average damage is going to be higher. And I want to say the plus also increases your accuracy, so he's just all in, all in a way going to be better off with this. Let's go ahead and cycle the map again. Okay, what is this? Where's the sign? There's got to be... Ah, oh, here we go. I am so thankful for these signs. I'm just, just terrified of everything. Really, though, we shouldn't be in, in too much trouble so long as we stay to, like, the, uh, air quotes, roads. I, hmm. Oh, no, that's the Sanzibar. Okay. We want Hillstone. Say, what is... I think that's the swamp. Okay, here we go. Castle Hillstone. Yes, we want to enter. Okay. Go to the link sheet. So we've got to find the bishop. He is at 11-4. I wish they wouldn't tell me like necessarily the locations for that in this 
Tell me where Castle Hillstone is, but don't tell me where any of the bishop is. I mean, I suppose we still have to figure out how to get there, so it's not as... Slayer's Palace, no entry. Alright, let's... Just gonna poke around. Whoa, hey, killer bees. Oh, they surround, they surprise. Oh no, we surprised them. Killer bees swarm, but they're worth 1,300 experience points and only have 40 hit points. I'm... I'm gonna risk this. This is a bad idea. Yeah, this is why. Because they're gonna just, like, do that. Rove, are you dead? Possibly. Oh, uh, Rove, don't be dead. Oh, thank Christ. Oh, Rove is not... Nobody's dead. I mean, these killer bees are going to be here momentarily because... There we go. All right, I should have had Swell heal. I, I might have just killed us by not having him heal. Foot soldiers, 35 hit points. Eh. Oh god, the front row is in such bad shape. All right, gold leaf. Cast, there's power cure. One six on Brunhilda. All right, I think this is, this is survivable. All right, cause Swell can also cast, oh, not enough gems. Can you cast second level spells? You can't. Oh, you ass. Alright, so I can't heal. Shit. Alright. 2-1. Get Rove up. Because that means lightning bolts. Alright. Because, yeah, basically we just need to, like, we're only throwing the big heal on Brunhilda so that she can take a hit, just in case. Because she's in melee. Everybody else is... less important. <laughs> Essentially. Alright, there we go. And these guys should be still alive. Yeah, they're just unconscious. Alright, we're gonna sleep. Yes. We're gonna search, see what we got. Great Hammer plus two, 39 gold. What is Drog using? A Scythe plus one, which deals 1d9. Alright, trade item with Drog. We'll give him that Great Hammer. Remove that and we'll see how... This does 1d14. All right, and it's plus two, so it's a better weapon. It's not the fancy ass plus 17 or plus seven stuff we can get at Atlantium, but it's it's something. Guard tower. All right. Okay, so 11-4 is gonna be like in the bottom right corner of the castle. Why can't orcs boil water? They forgot the recipe. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I have fucking... Oh! Giant lizard skeletons and beggars. This is... A very simple fight. The beggars will steal gems, but only gold leaf is in melee, so this is, isn't actually bad. Rove. These skeletons have six hit points. Ah. Uh... Just look, eh, I'm gonna have him fireball the back row, cook some of those beggars off. Cause if they steal gems, that's mildly dangerous. All right, here, turn undead. All right, and we'll just auto attack through this. There we go. Any goodies, 116 gold. How's the back row's gems looking? 50, 87, all right, the ones that matter are okay. Everybody else has just kind of a couple Something really interesting. Grand Hall. Uh, oh, it, it, it's like legit the joke of the day. I wonder if it'll change. Like if we come back here. Throne room, all right. Heads of monstrous beasts adorn the walls in this room. Will you gather more trophies for Lord Slayer? I believe that this is just like a repeatable quest series. I don't think that there's like any particular reason to do it beyond just killing things, but yeah, sure. Of what difficulty do you wish to aid Lord Slayer? We'll do a page's quest because I'm a coward. Seek the Gnome Elder and destroy it. Okay, so we did get a quest. It just says, defeat enemy, return to Lord Slayer. And the XP that we gain as a reward for it is based on the enemy. All right. Just gonna map everything here. Check for fake walls. Alas. Okay, so. Oh, this is gonna be. This isn't gonna be. Oh, I bet. 
I bet we gotta go in here. Castle Guard, 70 hit points, two attacks for 1d32. Ouch. They're pretty quick. Alright. And they have bows, which is mildly worrisome. Thankfully, we have fireballs. And our melees are just gonna mulch these dudes. Like, with the three attacks now, like, single target damage. That is one thing that the Might and Magic games, at least the older ones, I think did really well, is that, like, casters were really good for, ooh, a la fucking 2,500 gold each. Holy shit. We just found, like, 15,000 gold on those dudes. And a lantern, I guess, <laughs> but nice. But yeah, Might and Magic has always been, at least the older ones, had always been really good about, um... Your melees were essentially like really good single target damage, and you had your casters for AoE. And I think that's kind of a good good mix there. Alright, more castle guards. Oh, this time they surprised us. No bueno. It's okay, lightning bolts. We are probably running out of gems. I can actually check here. Rove, how many do you have? You have uh, he has 79. He's okay. How many is I think Fireball might only take one. I thought it took more than that. Uh let's see, fiery flail. Lightning Bolt. Fireball! Oh no, we're casting Lightning Bolt, not Fireball. Um, level plus two? Oh no, it's just two gems. Okay. And it costs one mana per level. Alright, so yeah, he's he's sitting at 48 spell points, so... We're not really in over much trouble. I'm not gonna worry about healing. Ooh, down goes Gold Leaf. I should have probably worried about healing. Eh. They wouldn't have been able to save her. We're gonna be able to kill these things, I think, before they kill us. So, ah, I just had Rove attack instead of cast. That's okay. They're down. Another 2,000 XP apiece. Shed load of money. Ringmail plus two. Ah, uh, I think all of our... Eh, that's actually an upgrade for Chunk. All right. Trade item with Chunk. Ringmail. Holy shit, look at that. An upgrade for the dwarf. Oh my lord! These are these are forced encounters too, according to the mapping software. So like we just have to fight these guys. I mean they're they are like really good money though, so I'm not complaining. And the XP isn't bad. I mean we're still like I don't know 75,000 XP away from leveling, but it, it could certainly be worse. I mean they're they're nasty, but they're not like that nasty they're manageably nasty unlike some other things now when it comes to like really grind for xp levels i'll we'll need moon ray for it come on guys there we go we'll need moon ray for it but i will just whoa all right a plus four great bow a plus five maul chunk died that's how you know it was a good fight. Oh, is this... This is the fucking dude, but Chunk's dead. So we've got to go back to town, and I'm gonna have to come back and fight through three more waves of these D-bags. Because, of course, if, if anybody's gonna die, who's it gonna be but the goddamn fucking thief? Ah, uh, I'm mildly salty about that one, guys. Not even gonna lie. I mean, we could get a Sanzibar, but I don't know where it is relative to this. What I'll probably do, uh, we'll get back to town here. I'll teleport us to Sanzibar, and then we'll leave and see where we are and see if we can maybe make it back there. Because like this, yeah, we can just shortcut. I don't know. We already know your water walking magic. And, uh, that's a fucking TPK. Conjures? Oh no, I take that back. They're just gonna energy blast us. A weir bull is kind of nasty though. But I think this is actually, yeah, reasonable. All right. Well, now we know that there's fucking sadness right there. All right. God damn it, chunk. Store condition. That's okay. I'm actually kind of glad. I'm not gonna say I'm glad that he died, but I'm glad that we came back to town. Are we looking at 10 days food? Uh, all I can carry? Define all I can carry. 40. Sure, works for me. 
Man. That Maul is actually probably better than her Great Axe. Her Great Axe is a D15 plus one. Wait, what? Wrong alignment. To equip the Maul. That's... Uh, identify items on Brunhilda, this mall, what? Evil only! Ah, oh, That pisses me, I mean the damage on it's only 1d6, so it actually would be... Uh, actually doing less damage on average, I think, than her... Her current weapon, but the plus five to hit is so good. What about that bow? The bow has no limitations. That counts for something at least. I can sell the thing. It's worth a thousand gold. I guess that counts for something. Sell the lantern. Hold on to that crossbow. We might need that. You're gonna have to do the great gear shuffling here, which for all the handy stuff that they have in this, I wish that they had like a just an inventory managing thing that would let you like just click and drag like your inventory around between characters alas they do not they have a backpack like it'll show you what you have and like what you have equipped but you can't do anything with it all right so great bow Devon give him that remove the longbow so he's gonna go from a d10 plus three to it takes a thing a little bit to update I know I just re-equipped the, the same one because I'm an idiot uh, to a d12 plus 4, so that's not bad. Chunk is just using a crossbow. I wonder if he can use a longbow. I don't think he can. But if he can... Oh, he can! Nice! Alright, so we have this crossbow plus 1. Which... Might as well throw that raygun on Devon, why not? Um... I don't think anyone else in the back row, like, I don't think Goldleaf or Rove can use a crossbow. But, trade item... I think... Yeah, Brunhilde can there. So, like, on the rare case that Swell is, like, stuck in melee alone, she'll at least be able to, like, plink away at things. Okay, so let's come here and save again. Let's come to... Sanzibar. We will flip our map over to Sanzibar. And, uh, I'm gonna hit the in here so that, uh, when the inevitable happens, it won't be too bad. Alright, so let's see where I am. Wow, alright. Because we should just need, need to run this way. And then it should be, like, right here. Yeah! Okay, so that actually wasn't too bad. Here, and I'm just gonna actually really quickly save time by linking us to the castle sheet because I believe that this is just a run to the south. Yes, and there are no encounters. All right. <sighs> All right, let's do this. Fucking chunk. Like, I can't bitch too much because we got, like, these things are actually dropping really good gear for us. So, yeah, but at the same time, mild, mild salt. Basically, the goal is to just keep the front row standing. I don't necessarily care if they're, you know, in the best of health. I just need them there to swing at things. There we go. All right, we're gonna rest. We're gonna search. Crossbow plus three. Split mail plus one. Well, trade item. Crossbow plus three. She can remove her crossbow plus one and equip that. So there you go. I mean, the crossbow's only doing a D8. But she gets three shots around with it, so it's 3d8 plus 9 in total. So, like, even at range, she's going to be putting out some pretty good hurt. Alright. I'm so thankful that there's, like, only six of these dudes. Because if they, they were if they were a big group, holy shit. Like, this would be just terrible. Gold leaf. Uh, go ahead and, I guess, top up chunk. I'm glad I did that, because... I mean, it let him survive on attack. Because, yeah, if these things roll well, they're going to, like, one-shot basically anybody that isn't Swell, Brunhilda, or Drog, I think. Because it's what, yeah, D32, they can do up to 64 damage, you guys. Is That is more health than... Actually, no, I take that back. 
The only person that they can one-shot in the entire part, well, the only people that they can one-shot are Chunk and Rove. Rove doesn't surprise me. Chunk, though, mildly disappointed. So much money. Antidote Ale? I guess that's something. And a mace. Realistically, I could give that to... Gold Leaf? Eh. I don't know how much damage it does. I'm gonna give it to Gold Leaf. Why not? Replace her small club. And there, we're just gonna drop that thing, because it's like, I think, maybe worth a gold piece. Hey, we surprised them. I love that we surprised them, but they still get to attack us. I guess it does give us favorable positioning and that only two of them are in melee. But that doesn't really matter because they're fucking archers. But I guess it does mean that I can fireball the ones in back. And fireball, I do believe, does more damage than lightning bolt. So that counts for something. Oh, swell goes down. These things are... They've all got... But they, all, they all have less than 30 hit points. So I'm gonna actually power cure Swell. Yeah, because I figured they were gonna fucking go for him. You bastards. Alright, everybody nap. Search. Plus six plate mail. Holy shit. God, I'm tempted to come back here just to kill those things for, like, loot. Alright, there we go. Eight thousand XP for freeing him, and then triple crown winners, another hundred thousand. So there we go. Like this, like when it comes to the level grind. Yeah, I'm thinking, guys, that maybe this is the way that we'll be going. All right, so we're in Sandsbar. We're gonna do the Atlantium run here, which is here, and then. Here, and then here. All right. Man, that... I'm, I'm, I'm actually really pleased with that. That went very, very smoothly. We're gonna save, just in case. Because <laughs> I fear freaking everything. Uh, okay, let's, let's get some levels. Look at that, 124,000 gold pieces. So much money. God, that next level's gonna hurt, though. Holy shit. All right. That's okay. Oh, gotta gather gold. There we go. Drog train's free, but you can see he's getting more expensive. All right. Gather gold. All right, so these are the important ones, because they're, yeah, new spells. These are, these are fifth level spells. Fifth level is, like, that's some good magic. Let's see. Does, first off, does Swell get any... Oh, look at that! He's got second and th third level? I think third level. I think the third level that he has is Water Walk. Uh, yes. So that doesn't count. He can cast second level, though. Notably, 2-1, which is Cure Wounds. That's very, very useful. That's like spot healing. Doesn't cost gems and is reasonably... I think it doesn't cost gems and it's reasonably um, spell point efficient. Uh, no, it does not cost gems. Very nice. That is exciting. Now he is, like, officially an extra healer. Because, well, I mean, I guess he could cast... Yeah, he can cast first aid, but that's, like, I think, like, ten points of healing? Alright, what about Devon? One, two, four, and five. Eagle Eye, Electric Arrow, Jump, and Levitate, actually. Alright, sure. That's, that's reasonable. Gold Leaf. Fifth level spells, two and four. Finger of Death and shelter well finger of death is probably never going to be used because i think it's just like it has a chance to kill let's look here uh oh i think i was looking at the i was looking at oh finger of death and shelter are what rove gets she gets deadly swarm and paralyzed deadly swarm uh inflicts between 4 and 40 damage to 10 monsters Okay, so she has an actual AoE spell now. That's nice. And Paralyze uh, attempts to immobilize up to 10 monsters, preventing them from fighting. Maybe partially or completely effective on some or all monsters. So that's alright. I'm not gonna complain about that. Her fifth level spells are actually kind of crappy. Those are really the only good ones. Uh, Rove. 
Finger of Death. Three monsters that are not undead results in the death of the monsters at whom the caster points a finger. It like never works though. And Shelter is like you can just rest safely anywhere. It's basically like, I think it lets you skip using food too. I may be wrong on that. But he can get teleport now, which is very good. Uh, and more importantly, for outdoor combat, he can cast Sandstorm once we find it, which targets all of the monsters and deals scaling damage based on his level. So that's pretty solid. Um, but that having been done, those are all except for the Black Triple Crown, which... Ugh. I don't even know off the top of my head where you get the black tickets. I think we might actually get them at um, Atlantium here. We can check, actually. Uh, do we have a shop? Have I found the shop? Have I not found the shop? Seriously? Oh, they have a mage's guild here. The meeting shifts towards entropy as you step in. A Kabbalist approaches us with a spell list. Bye? Oh, uh, yes? Oh, okay. Alright, so we, we've got to find membership. I'm like, I'll just take random magic. Okay. Arena. Tavern here. I want to come in here. Oh my god, gather the money. There we go. This should set us on food. Yeah, 40 food. Like, we're good. The food is not really anything you need to worry about in this game, honestly. Alright, here we go. What kind of goodies do you sell? Eh, only plus two and three. What about your daily specials? Only plus one! Holy crap! Massive disappointment. Plate armor plus... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Helms plus four. Probably worth... And yeah, there's black tickets. Okay. I'm gonna buy one. This is a bad idea. This is a really bad really bad idea but first gear here because i believe yes plate mail plus six he has plus three so it's going to net him three points of ac i'm actually i think going to give that to brunhilda yeah like even in her case it's not bringing her up that much uh the splint mail really i don't think I would give it to Drog, but that implies that I care about his well-being, and I honestly don't. And the back row, it's not going to bring them up enough that it's going to matter, I don't think. Alright. All of that's gone, so I'm going to... Let's see here. Armor. Gather all the money. I'm going to have him buy a helm. I'm going to have you buy a helm. Drog gets nothing. Chunk can't use him. Gold leaf can, but come on, really now? Alright, so I don't- uh, this actually might not be as good as the Silver Helm plus three. We'll see. It is as good as the Silver Helm plus three. Alright, well, I guess in that case, Gold Leaf, you're getting a Helm. Alright, she doesn't have- wait, what? Oh, she has a plus two. Alright, so she, she's actually picking up two points of AC. That's not bad. She's, you know, a point shy of Swell. Is an iron shield plus one. I don't know how a great shield would compare to that. I don't know if it would be worthwhile, honestly. And there we go. Gold Leaf's got some AC. So let's pop into the inn here. Save. Let's see what this is. This is gonna be bad. Wizards. You'd be like, guys, it's just wizards, right? It's just wizards, right? What's the worst they could do? How tough can they be? Well, they have 150 hit points because they're wizards. And I'll just, uh... Well, that was round one. <laughs> yeah, these are like near end game enemies. These things are single-handedly one of these things is worth 70,000 experience points. Like, these are so far and... so far and beyond what we should be fighting that it's like, it's not even funny. I mean, yeah, we can hit them and it's no big deal, but if they hit us, like, if they have a chance, fucking 780 damage, you guys. Like, what do we even do? It's wonderful. 
regardless. I think I'm going to go ahead and call this here, and I will see you guys next time when... I honestly don't know what we're gonna do. We're gonna hunt something down and probably do some violence on things, I can tell you that much at least. Maybe we'll start hunting for, um... Lloyd of Lloyd's Beacon fame. That might be worthwhile. Until then...